Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how I made this uh, Facebook uh, page uh, cover. Actually, there is a specific size for page cover so that every portions of the image are seen. Like for instance, this one is a Facebook page. As you can see, at the bottom of the key, temple is not seen but when you click on the image you can see that there are other portion of it that are hidden when they are on the page uh, itself so what should we do actually there is a instruction that we can read in Facebook itself like for instance what are the dimensions for my page cover photo in here? And it says that the cover photo are 851 pixel wide and 315 pixel tall. If you go uh, smaller to this uh, dimension, uh, the uh, Facebook format will be changed to a at least larger well and a better way to upload is that exact size or a size of uh, 100 kilobytes uh, PNG file type is much better and if we have time I'm going to show you how to to reach this uh, kilobytes uh, at the letter end of our uh, uh, video making. Now, I have here now a canvas of the suggested size in here 851 pixel, and uh, that's the width and the height 315 right here so the document size in inches is 4 inches wide and uh, only 1.59 inches so this is the exact size alright but first thing first I would like to open a picture in here so that I can show you uh, what we're going to do. This is the picture that I uploaded. And how I get into this, this picture composes a lot of cut pictures. And I'm going to show you how. Now, I'm going to open another picture and uh, place it on my canvas in another page. I'm going to remove that like this. And how I did is that I used the cutting tool to cut portions of the images. And I'm going to add another picture and mix them all together this one but first we're going to edit this picture you can go out anywhere you want and then they just take pictures collect pictures and just think uh, what kind of uh, a project you may want to do out of those pictures and the cutting tool would be this one no not that that one should be this one quick selection tool I'd like to use this one. This time we are not going to use the magic one tool, but we're going to use the quick selection tool. And there are options in here, like for instance, new selection, and here is an add to selection, and here is another subtract from selection. And a size would be uh, uh, resized and done in here that today even though this is a large picture I'm going to use at least uh, 
13. All right. Now clicking here, you can see that there are uh, markers anywhere you're going to run within the picture. But what it does is that it is selecting the portions you want to keep right here and I'm going to keep all of this right there and there are there is a tree in here okay and never mind that extra in there we're going to uh, take a look at that later I would like to make mention also that this uh, photo editing is not for expert uh, uh, photo editors if you happen to watch this this is for beginners uh, only all right now we are the negative uh, selection tool and go outside you see it returns back because it is for opposite selection now it looks like I'm okay with it now refine the edges in here on the refine edges for the Photoshop CS6 there is a smart radius previous versions they don't have this and you can redo take a look at the selection we made right there and you can uh, go deeper of your selection of where what to cut okay I'll just go in that size and then on the output selection to me I prefer to use a new layer with layer mask now if I'm satisfied to it and I this is just only for the sake of review now I will click OK in here the picture that I did not select is taken out but actually it is in a mask it's not really uh, taken out it's still there but only hidden by the uh, layer mask and another way of uh, uh, creating a layer mask is by clicking this button below add layer mask you can just click on that and you see here it is layer mask thumbnail but we are not going to need this so I'll just uh, uh, delete this layer okay what shall I do with this if you want this already you can apply the layer mask and you can no longer re-edit it anymore what I can do now is to save this or maybe transfer it to anywhere I want like for instance if I want to use it in here I'm just uh, drag this and then put it in here or I will save it as I use the GIF or PNG file type and then save right okay hmm all right like that see and it shows you uh, color settings of your uh, file and others GIF now if I'm going to open and view that it will look like this you see the cut there now since I have done that already what can I do in here else well you see this one we can put this at the back of the uh, mountain that we just cut like for instance oops I would like to make a copy of that and drag that in here and put it there it is covering the the layer is covering the first layer 
but I can bring that layer, the new layer, down after applying it like that and it will stay behind the mountain see what uh, cutting and editing makes the difference as if you are now in Santa Fe in here right there now what I did on my Facebook cover is that I have uh, made a uh, a copy already cut them and this would be my background like that and now next thing that I should do is to place another what was seen in there um, maybe the field there you go you got it there already and I imagine that this in between the field and the uh, mountain is a city so I cut a city buildings right there and put it right there see all right I'm to remove that and then the city put it right there and the city is somewhere it's not on the location I'm going to rusticize this everything and then put it in between the field and uh, the mountain right there and next that uh, uh, I want to say is that uh, the farther uh, the image is, the smaller the size are of any e thing in there. And so I cut a plantation also. A, a picture of a plantation and made it appear forward. Right? I'm going to apply that and goes right here can you see that and this should stay right there see that and I'm going to remove that it, you can see that the buildings are gone alright right there and the plantation is just in front rusticizing it as the new plantation right there and that's the farm okay what else did I use I also saw a balloon wherein I place it there so they are flying over the city and a close by is an airport so I cut a plane and it is flying over there here taking off All right I'm going to rusticize those uh, smart object and then I, I just imagine this I want to put my car in here but how can I put my car in a plantation so this must be close by to a road so I cut a road picture of the roads and voila right there and so I can now put my car somewhere by the road and of course my my camera is with a tripod where should I be should I be at the back of the car or in front of the car so I cut a photo of myself and put myself in front of the car or maybe 
I can put myself behind the car like that or just the same in front of the car all right what else are missing in here so you can add more you can add more where's my where's my uh, page now let me see let me see right there all right there you go what's missing in there I'm going to reduce the picture there you go plain plantation and of course this is my profile picture on my page so in here just leave it empty because this will be a place for your profile picture all right folks oh yeah before i forget so that your page would move faster the picture image should be any small uh size so png is suggested but i'm using jpeg file type and this is my uh facebook cover uh Pix number 40, 432 and when I save it it asks you for this profile uh, the size of the file 356k is too large the suggested size uh, was uh, how much it should be 100 it says there 100 right yes it's right here i'm going to enlarge the font so you can we can read it it's right here 100 kilobytes you know what i'm doing if the quality of the picture when you save it is still okay i'm i am uh, saving it in less than 100 between 50 to 75 63 is just fine and let's just give it a try now i am saving it now where did i save it a while ago it's just right here you see what do you think of the quality of the picture still good well i don't like some of the edges of it it looks like uh, uh, they are blurry and you can increase the size of uh, your file save us jpeg and then cover 32 revise all right revise and then save to 73 or 85 like that and then let's see the outcome of it well it looks like a better picture well folks it looks like we are done and to again of our demonstration a simple one how to create a uh, a cover uh, photo for your Facebook until next time God bless <music>